Hi, I'm Joel Gibson, and I've created these new internet squeeze tests so you can check you're getting every last drop of juice out of your internet dollar. Today, three free hacks to fix dodgy Wi-Fi. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is strictly for the tech geniuses out there, we're gonna move your hardware. See, if your router is in a cupboard or right down one end of the house, the Netflix has to fly through doors and walls and past baby monitors and microwaves that might be using the same radio frequency. So put it in the middle of the house, out in the open, as if it's a bunch of flowers. Boom, faster Wi-Fi for free. For our second hack, we're gonna switch your Wi-Fi frequency band. You see, most Wi-Fi networks work on two different frequencies. They're called 2.4 gigahertz, and five gigahertz. And that's why you often see two versions of your Wi-Fi network when you go to connect. So if you're having trouble with one band, try the other one. See the 2.4 gigahertz is like a marathon runner. It's better at traveling long distances, but it's a bit slower than the five gigahertz, which is more like the Usain Bolt of Wi-Fi. It's faster, but over short distances. Ideally, connect these devices to these frequencies to maximize your Wi-Fi. Last but not least, and I'm sorry if this is a bit too technical for some of you, we're gonna turn everything off and we're gonna turn it all on again. Now, I know this seems dopey, but in fact, when you power cycle your NBN box and your modem and your router, it clears the memory, gets rid of any old jobs that are bogging them down and selects the best channel when they start up again. So to do it properly, unplug each device, wait about 30 seconds, plug it back in and turn it on, and then claim full credit. In squeeze test number four, our next video, we'll look at another major cause of slow Wi-Fi, crappy modems, and how to know if you've got one. <laughs>